Welcome back to Inspire Eclipses. In today's episode, we're traveling to a land of rugged cliffs, green pastures, and misty fjords. That's right, we're heading to the Faroe Islands, a place where the natural world is as wild as it is beautiful. Are you ready to uncover its hidden wonders and mysteries? So, where exactly are the Faroe Islands? Well, they're an archipelago of 18 small islands located in the North Atlantic, about halfway between Norway and Iceland. While they might seem remote, the Faroe Islands are actually part of the Kingdom of Denmark, though they govern themselves in many ways. With a population of just over 50,000 people, the Faroe Islands are a small but thriving community, known for their stunning natural beauty, unique wildlife, and a lifestyle that's closely tied to the ocean. Geographically speaking, the Faroe Islands are a real gem. They cover an area of about 540 square miles, making them roughly the size of Singapore. But instead of skyscrapers, you'll find towering cliffs, sweeping valleys, and deep fjords carved by glaciers thousands of years ago. The largest island is Straymoy, home to the capital city of Torshav. And though the islands are scattered across the sea, they're all linked by a network of tunnels, bridges, and ferries, making travel between them surprisingly easy. And when it comes to weather, well, let's just say it's a bit unpredictable. The islands have a cool oceanic climate, meaning it can rain, shine, and then rain again all in the same afternoon. Locals like to joke that if you don't like the weather, just wait five minutes. Historically, the Faroe Islands have a rich and fascinating past. It's believed that the first people to settle here were Irish monks, sometime around the 6th century. But it wasn't until the Vikings arrived in the 9th century that the islands truly became inhabited. These Norse settlers established communities across the islands, and their influence is still evident in the Faroe's language and culture today. In fact, many islanders can trace their ancestry back to these original Viking settlers. Over the centuries, the Faroe Islands have been governed by various kingdoms, including Norway and Denmark. Today, while they remain part of the Kingdom of Denmark, the Faroe's people enjoy a high degree of self-governance, with their own parliament and policies. Now, you might be wondering, is there a mystery about the Faroe Islands? Well, while the islands might not have the same ancient puzzles as some other places, there's still an air of mystery here. Some of it comes from the sheer isolation of the islands. Their windswept cliffs and ever-changing weather create an otherworldly atmosphere. Then, there's the legend of the hidden people, supernatural beings known as Huldufolk. Local folklore says that these invisible creatures live in the rocks and mountains, protecting the land from outsiders. While the legend may just be a tale, the islands do have a sense of mystery, with their towering sea stacks and dramatic landscapes that feel like they belong in another realm. I haven't seen any Huldufolk yet, but who knows, maybe they're watching this video right now. And a like would be Huldus, so like and subscribe. Now let's talk culture. The Faroe Islands have a rich cultural history, deeply connected to their Norse roots and the surrounding sea. Fishing and sheep farming have been the backbone of the Faroe's economy for centuries, and traditional customs, like grind a drap, the controversial whale hunt, are still practiced today. Faroe's culture is also reflected in their cuisine. Fermented lamb and fish, dried whale meat, and skirpikjot, cured lamb, are some of the traditional dishes you'll find here. It's a little different from your average seafood platter, but the locals love it. The pharaohs are known for their strong oral storytelling traditions, passing down tales of Viking sagas and local myths through generations. Today, that same passion for storytelling continues in their literature, art, and music. In modern times, the Faroe Islands are a blend of old and new. While the population remains small, they have a thriving economy mostly driven by fishing, aquaculture, and some tourism. In fact, thanks to the unique landscape, the Faroe Islands have become a hotspot for adventurous travelers seeking to hike its cliffs, birdwatch, and enjoy unspoiled nature. 
and if you're a bird lover, you're in luck. The Faroe Islands are home to over a million seabirds, including the famous puffins, which nest along the cliffs during the summer months. Despite its remote location, the Faroe Islands are highly connected to the outside world. They have their own Faroes telecom network, and the capital Torshavn is buzzing with creative industries, including tech startups and music festivals. So, whether you're drawn to the ancient Viking history, the spectacular natural beauty, or the mysterious legends of the Huldefolk, the Faroe Islands are a place unlike any other, a true gem in the North Atlantic. If you enjoyed this journey to the Faroe Islands, make sure to like this video and subscribe to Inspire Eclipses for more explorations of the world's most unique places. Until next time, keep your sense of adventure alive and your curiosity sharp. Who knows what we'll discover next?